discussed really touches on so many areas of life. It could be everything from taste and physical aspects to sexuality and to morals. The Disgusting Food Museum is a collection of around 80 disgusting foods from around the world. We're all very different when it comes to disgust, and a great way of seeing how culturally conditioned disgust is, is by looking at these foods. Across many different cultures, certain foods are considered delicious, while others consider them disgusting. Over here, we have the American corner. <laughs> The point of the museum isn't to enforce any stereotypes culturally, but more to see how diverse every culture is, but also how many similarities we have. Most cultures in most countries have some sort of fermented or rotten food, and that's also based historically uh, on you know, preserving food. So necessity overcame there with disgust. Oh my god. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. I will not ever subject anyone to this <laughs> flavor torture. <laughs> oh God. We want to challenge those ideas of disgust. Maybe if we challenge it, we might be able to embrace more sustainable food sources, like insects, for example, really high protein, not as much feed needed to produce it. Uh, we view it as a potentially you know, very sustainable food source in the future, and our Western world has not adopted that. So it would be interesting to see if discussions that can be stimulated by a museum such as ours can lead us to embrace other cultures, much more sustainable ways of producing food.